Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Uh, we hope and pray that all is well with you. And we know that God has blessed us already to see a new day. And we're just glad that we are here to present his word to you again in song and in word from him. And uh, I'm like David. I'm glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Now keep your stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. We're going to have our first opening by our male chorus.
Jesus, Jesus, 
can you go but to the Lord? Amen. Are you there yet? Chapter 5 in the book of Mark's gospel. And he writes in verse 1, And they came unto the other side of the sea, into a country of the Galileans. And when he was come out of the ship, Immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs and no man could bind him, no, not with chains because he that had been often bound with fetters and chains and the chain had been plucked asunder by him and the feather broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying, cutting himself with stone. But when he saw Jesus, afar off, he ran and worshiped him. Our Father in heaven, as we come now to expound on your word, God, we just ask you to endow me with your Holy Spirit. Not me afresh in the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Oh God, decrease me that they, and you increase that they see less of me and more of you. And God, we ask you to speak through these lips of praise, the word you desire your people to hear. And as we stand on the wall of this gospel, we ask these blessings now in the name of Jesus. Christ and Mary. Amen. What is this I feel deep inside? What is this? Make me want to run on any time. What is Identify with this young man 
Yes, gentlemen. I, I mean, all of us are not bad folks. Come on now. Get with me now. I won't be here long. None of us uh, consider ourselves pretty good folks. I mean, we do. We're, we're, we're not all that bad, but I mean, most of us got problems. Come on now. And, 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 and you see, we cannot actually point a finger at this man here because, number one, uh, he was thought about and thought of as being demon possessed. Even before Jesus had arrived on the other side, God always got a sign for all of us. Here, this man here had, had already been thought of bad enough that folks said, well, we cannot contain him. He broke feathers and he broke chains that had bound him and they tried to do all that they could to just calm him down. Nothing that they could do uh, was, uh, was, was in favor of them controlling this man. Nothing in the scripture that I have read that said that this man was bad. <laughs> he was just a good man with problems. How many of us have had an opportunity, if you will, to experience problems? That even the problem that we experience sometimes made us, made us want to just holler. Made us want to just do things that was out of character for us. Am I right? I mean, come on now. Let's be honest. We, we, we really haven't had a rosy uh, beginning all the time. You see, if we would have had uh, everything smooth in our life, if we would have not had, if we would not have had problems in our life, we would not found a need to have prayer to call on Jesus, to ask him for his help. But sometimes when problems come, they just come to make us strong. Come on, somebody. They, 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 they often, we often find that when we go through stuff, we come out better than we were before. Am I right about it? Yes, because we gain experience from the problems that we encounter. Yes. And if we did not know how to navigate around uh, problems, then uh, we would not know how to live a life of prosperity. Well, when Jesus came to the other side of the sea, and he met this fellow that ran out to him, and this man had a reputation now, I'm not saying that the disciples did not know. They had, somebody had to tell them of the history of this man. You see, most of us uh, got neighbors and we got family that know all about us. They know what kind of problems that we have had. They know what kind of stuff we've been through. We can, we can pretend all we want to, but there's somebody that knows our history. Somebody knows our background. And this man here, <clears throat> they had to be somebody to tell them of the history of this man, about him being, uh, why he was dwelling among the tombs, why he came out there to begin with. Well, you see, if he was, a, if he was just a so bad guy, he would have never came to the tomb by himself. He didn't want to hurt nobody. He didn't want to, you know, embarrass his family. So he decided to just get out among the tombs. He didn't understand what was going on with him. So in the, uh, the time, he didn't have anything to hurt himself with. So he used the rocks to cut himself, to try to uh, 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 get what was in him out. He didn't know how to call on somebody that knew how to do what he wanted to do. That, that was to get all those demons out of him that was troubling him. Well, look what happened. When he saw Jesus coming, there was something about Jesus. 
This man, no, no, nothing in history said that this man had ever met Jesus before. But there was something about Jesus that this man saw. That he ran to Jesus and began to worship him. What, what was about this man that, that caused him to just all of a sudden forget who he was and the problem that he was going through that he could just drop everything right there and run to the master? Well, I'm glad you asked the question. Well, I, I, I think in beside this man, it was the demons that was on the inside that recognized who Jesus was. It was those demons that was on the inside. The problem that he was going through recognized that here comes this problem solved. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. Here's the problem solved. Stepping out of the boat. And we got to go right now and worship him because if we don't, something bad is going to happen to us. So they went, and the man went and began to worship him. And cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thy son of the most high God? And uh, uh, you see, Jesus recognized right then who they were. So he said to the man, Come out of this man, thou unclean spirit. Well, when Jesus said, What is that name? He knew who he was. Then he answered and said, My name is Legion, for we are men. It wasn't the man speaking, it was the demon speaking. And sometimes your problems will speak. And you don't have to say a word. Sometimes the words come out of your looks. Sometimes the words come out of your body posture. Sometimes the words will come from just you being wondering in your mind. Problems will come out of you some kind of way. Doesn't mean you're a bad person, but you're a good person with a problem. Here this man is found out, and when uh, he besought him uh, much that, that he would send them away out of the country. The Bible let us know that there was a herd of swine, about 2,000, that was feeding. And the demons requested that Jesus would send them into the swine. And when they did, when he did, they violently ran down a steep place into the sea, and they are about two thousand, and they were choked in the sea. In other words, they drowned in the sea. Now, after this man was relieved of his problems, uh, and look at what, what happened here. He, he went and, 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 and just began to feel better about himself. And then began to pray him to depart. And, uh, but, but Jesus said, you know, uh, Jesus suffered him and said, nah, nah, I say unto thee, go home to your friends and tell them how great things the Lord has done for you and have compassion on you. And he departed and began to publish it in the capitals how great things Jesus had done for him. And see, most of us don't want to tell somebody when we got problems. We want to keep them bottled up on the inside. We want to just try to handle things out of self. But don't you know that sometimes your problems are beyond your reach? And you got to call on the name of Jesus so he can fix everything. And I'm telling you, Jesus is the fixer. You got to look at how he was able to fix things way back when. When Abraham was this undecided, how he was going to do it, it was Jesus that fixed things for him. Yes. When I look at Jacob, how he was undecided about why his mama sent him to his other Levi. How he was undecided about what Cousin, he was going there. But he finally wound up having to send the mate. Yes, he decided with his mama. And he got Rachel. Struggled hard in his heart. 
But the doctor leaned there and said, it's not right for somebody to take the younger woman and leave the older woman. So there was me and old cock out there presenting a problem to Jacob. Somebody that he didn't love. Somebody that he had to take. But don't you know, Jesus is a proper fix. Jesus fixed it so that Leah had some son by Jacob. Leah had the beginning of the nation of the Israelites. But everything works for the good of those that have faith in God. I'm telling you, if you just keep your faith, Jesus will work it out for you. I know he will. Yes, the blood of Jesus can clean all the dark spots. The blood of Jesus can cast all your problems way, way, way away. As far as the east is from the west, the blood of Jesus can wash your problems away. You can be good, but still have problems. You can be as good as gold, but still have problems. But if you turn it over to Jesus, he'll work it out. He'll work it out. I know he will. He'll work it out. Every now and then, you look around and wonder what happened. Just fall down. Oh, so whatever you're going through, 
to deal with your problems, no matter what they are. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's it. I'm going to ask you. Give me a song. If there's somebody out there right now that think your problem is so big you can't help, turn them over to you. I love to call on the name. Of Jesus, Jesus, I love to call on the name of Jesus, Jesus. I love to call on the name of Jesus, Jesus. I Oh, 
Yeah.